As part of our series for beginning gardeners, we're going to talk about what happens if you want to go garden and you're dealing with existing turf or what passes as turf. A couple of different situations here, one of them being an old bunch grass, probably a fescue, filled with both annual and perennial weeds, dandelions and bindweed in particular, and we're going to use a different method of getting rid of that turf than we will on a really beautifully established lawn. We talk about essentially four or five different methods of getting rid of the turf. You can dig it or till it. You can use glyphosate or another herbicide if you are into using chemicals to get rid of it. You can solarize or you can smother. In the situation where you have perennial weeds or a lot of annual weeds, one of the things that has happened is there is a seed bank that has likely been built up in the soil. So if you think about that, if you kill and till, whether you are killing with glyphosate first or you are tilling after you kill with glyphosate, in either way, if you are disturbing that soil, you're bringing that seed bank up and you're likely going to be fighting those, those weeds, perennial and annual, for quite a while. So in this particular instance where we do have the, the combination of broadleaf weeds and an old turf, we're going to recommend a couple of different options. One of them is solarization, and solarization is best done with, with uh, see-through plastic. So, this is, so think about what happens there. The see-through plastic allows the rays of the sun to heat up and kill that particular turf. Now, you also think about what happens if we use dark plastic or something like a slip and slide. In, and, and in the heat of the summer, a slip and slide on your, on your lawn, regardless of what its composition is, will really cause great damage. So you can do that as well. It's not as, as uh, recommended as highly. The other is to actually smother. And smothering the turf is exactly what it sounds like. To smother the turf, we use newspaper, we use something biodegradable like cardboard that will actually literally cut out the light from reaching that turf. If you want to convert some well-managed turf that's relatively weed-free into your place to go garden, you have some other options. You can certainly still solarize or, or smother that turf, but you can also strip it. You can use a chemical to begin with if you want to kill the turf. If you don't want to do that, use something like a sod stripper, and that's going to be easiest. A sod cutter will allow that to, you to get that turf off the soil surface mechanically. Or if it's a small space or you want the exercise, go ahead and use a flat bladed spade. You cut the, the turf into some sections that are manageable. You slip the blade under the soil, under the surface of the crown of the turf, and then you simply peel that turf back. And then once you've got that done, you can go ahead and dig, which is really not something you want to do with, with a turf that has a, a big seed bank in it. What you do then is you either dig by hand and chunk that soil up very, very roughly and allow the freeze thaw action to do its thing. You can use a tiller, but again, ideally you want big pieces as opposed to a very fine surface. In the spring of the year, if you've stripped the turf, either mechanically or by hand, you may have some of the rhizomatous little pieces of that turf grass come back up into your garden. Pretty simple to get rid of those. Again, you can either till or you can pull by hand, or if you're going to mulch your garden, go ahead and mulch right over the top and smother them.